Well, here and today we're back in Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion, Star Trek Armada 3, the Final Frontier mod. <sighs> okay, that was a lot to say, and I barely even had a breath. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna do another one of these because people love this so much. And ooh, we have a nice picture of a Romulan. It looks like a Romulan ship, with the green and the stuff, because that's what it's like in the game. Anyway, sorry about the speeding. I just and then we're right up next to a, what appears to be a moon. Maybe. The ship looks to be the lone ship survivor of a massive battle with the Borg. Um, there's an asteroid over there. Planet with its moon over there. Hey, that's Earth! There's Earth over there. Looks like Earth, at least. Deadly toxic gas planet with the giant freaking moon there, Saturn, uh, Uranus, uh, Neptune, um, and as we all know, that's where obviously where Venus lives, and way and oh and and Saturn 2.0, uh, and, and Uranus 2.0, and and and, and Neptune 2.0, and Jupiter, and uh, toxic gas deadly planet number two. That's obviously how the solar system works. As we all know. Anyway, so we're gonna be doing another one of these on the one I love too much, which is Hold the Line. Hey, we got a nice picture of the one over here. We were over there. On a tiny speck all the way over there. And now we've moved all the way to here to this planet. See how big this freaking game is in the menus even. There's um there's a uh, Venus 2.0 as well. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to set up some story. I'm going to jump cut to when this is all done, alright? Because I don't want to have you... Sh it's going to be a surprise. Now we're on the other side of that planet. Surprise. Okay, so here we go, and this is the teams. Now, as I said, like two and a half empty seconds ago, if you didn't hear, then you're not paying attention. There's story to this, and you may be confused as to why I put in a Federation Klingon and two Borg, and one of the Borg is on my team. What's gonna happen is these guys are the main Borg dudes. These are the uh, council, I guess you could say, of Borg. These are the Borg rebels. This is the Klingons, and this is the Federation. So I play as the Federation, we got an, a an AI ally, Klingon, and the Rebel Borgs all going to fight the Council of which, of, uh, per se, of the Borg. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. And game options, normal, large fleet sizes, pirates inactive, quick start. <sighs> Actually, let's have the pirates active. That'd be hilariously fun. Um... Lock teams, fastest income rates, fastest build speeds, fastest ships research, fastest everything. Uh, except for victory speed, because victory doesn't matter there. Um, random events, no random events, because that's not what we want. And quick start, where it gives us uh, mining bases and shipyards, as well as a thing that builds your free star base. So, let's get going. And uh, allied victory, so you just have to defeat... Um, all your foes, and that's really all that is. So, Allied Victory, I like to play on Allied Victory all the time. Alright, let's get going and start. It's a loading screen, and it's a man. Sell the sizzle, not the steak. So, you sell the grease that comes off the steak when you cook it? That doesn't sound healthy. In any sense of the word healthy. At all. That just seems like... That's gonna get you really sick. Because grease, you're not actually supposed to eat grease. I mean, grease is edible. But that's not encur that doesn't mean it, you should, people should be encouraging everyone else to eat grease. But because grease is really bad for you. That's why fr things like fries and hamburgers are so bad for you. Even though I love them so much. And the reason why I'm still skinny is because I ex I run a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, so we got very few things that are undiscovered, just like that one and that one. So, like, a couple of things, because they start over there and stuff. So you just gotta 
do Jupiter stuff. Anyways, first, what we're doing is we're obviously going to need to start building some crap. Okay, I like just having auto place on for this because it's just... Find somewhere to put it. Just do that on your own. Because I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to place it on my own. I can't be bothered with doing these properly. Okay. I think that should be all the researchy bits done. Let's check. Yep, that's all the military ones. And that's all the economic y ones unlocked. The only other building is that. My god, what's with the lag? Jeez. Um, so, first we're going with that, then we're going with that, then we're going with that, then we're going with that and that, then that and that, then that and that, then that. Then that. Then that, then that, then those two are unnecessary, so we don't need them yet. Uh, and then we just need to actually wait for them to start. Then once they've started, station complete. Actually, start doing a bunch of research here. Uh, doing research on them as soon as possible. Station That one. Then going along there to get them. Unlock the Norway class, get them upgrades, get these upgrades. I honestly don't care in which direction these go. Like which ones go first and Unable to which comply. ones don't. Unable to comply. Station complete. And that Station makes complete. all of my ships the strongest they can Station be in complete. the Federation. I don't need the Dreadnought till the late game, so we can do that. Uh, that one, that one, research that one. Complete. In fact, just research everything comply. in here. Station I could complete. not care less. There we go, and then, research now that these ones have started, we can start doing these, because then it won't uh, research these ones over top, and then, that's two, and that's two, and that's three, and that's two, and that's two, and that, 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 and that. making sure, because when it's those things in those spots, it's hard to see the one that's next to them. And then that, and then that, and then that, because that's useful, then that and that. And that's all that, and foreign consulate, we don't really need anything. We're going to go with that, and we're going to go with that, and then we're going to go with these, because why not? Uh, other than that, there's nothing there. We're going to go with a couple of them first, then a lot of these, insufficient research, and then a couple more of these. Research. Then finishing off them, them too. Because it does them in order as you click them, which is really nice. Because you can then strategize how you're going to be doing things. Okay, that's that. Research. Now, as soon as you can. Research. Uh, I'm going to also turn this off because I don't know how these work. If they have to be in, Research. like, Complete. specific areas for them to work. But I'm going to put them on that side because I want Research. them pushing out that way. I don't know if that's how they work. I have no idea how they work. I'm just trying, alright? And then we're gonna put a trade one on you and one of them. And then one of them. Yeah. Uh, and then on Jupiter, you desperately need these things. Because you're going to be attacked really hard. Okay. Bunch of these. Get all those, and then these, 
and only these to be pumping out our culture to try and take over the other places. Then only a few of them, because we're going to be getting s better ones soon. Uh, and then on you guys, you're going to have your things, that thing, that thing, and that thing. I really don't need these, because they're. I already start with so much freaking money. But screw it. There we go. Alright, that's everything. Don't mind my, uh, very loud brother in the background. Uh, he's probably very loud. I have no idea. If the mic is picking that up. Um, if the mic does pick that up, then let me know. It's kind of an important thing. And then, that, then. And you, we need to do that. Station. That and that and um, station complete. That Research complete. And then you go out to that one. Station complete. And then we need to get you doing something. Station complete. One of them build one of station them complete. build that. Research Zoom complete. out. Tell you to go there. Then go here. This is how you gotta prepare for everything. You'll be another one of these ones. And then we'll have our capital ship one in the very back. Eris is my capital ship one. So it gets the trade things too, but it gets a capital ship one instead of the regular ship one. Then we need to go over to you, and we need to give you the Station maximized complete. amount of these, Research so we can build one of these. Station Oops, complete. so we can build one of these. Um, <coughs> and so we can build Research some repair docks. Complete. We're going to build a repair dock there, and a repair dock there, Station a repair dock complete. there, as well as Station one of them, complete. and one of them, and then Station just going to leave them for now. This one, Station you're going to get one of them as well. It's going to be the same here. Station complete. Same thing here. Research complete. And same thing here. Research same thing here. Complete. Oh, you can have more than that. There we go. Station complete. Oh, I'm sure you can have another Research type of repair dock, complete. I guess. Station complete. And then we're just going to wait. Um, so things are coming along nicely. Are these Station guys trying complete. to take over this planet? No, they're just uh, exploring. Station so Klingons complete. are green. I am blue. And Rebel Borg are purple. Station complete. Then Al and then Enemy Borg are red. Research. That is a bad thing to be seeing oh, this complete. early on in the game. Fetch, 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 fetch. Station complete. Okay, uh, you. You're building me my free space dock. ASAP. Research complete. Station complete. And we're gonna Station need to go complete. charging full on head charge Station to take complete. over Saturn. That's going to be one that I want to take over soon. So we're just going to storm them with uh, saber classes. With uh, 45 complete. saber classes in a colony ship. And then it's going to get its defenses and then it's going to have that, that, and then that, then that, then that, then that, then that. Station complete. Okay, we got one ship. We're just gonna send all of my uh, saber classes at the same time to Saturn, because even though there's already dudes, Station there's already dudes there. Okay. Research complete. Cancel it, so that's the only one that's Research left. Complete. Because we only need like three just to transport the damn Station colony complete. ship there, and then we should be able to take it over before they get it. Because I don't think they have a colony ship yet. 
Nope, they have a special ship already, so... Don't know. I have the Voyager now. Train up, Voyager. Station complete. Research complete. Prepare the colonists. Give the word. Station Okay, wait, you. Prepare the colonists. Get your butt moving. There. And then you also get your butts over there. Research complete. Research complete. I don't want my allies taking this over because I don't know what they're doing. But if we get the freight, if they're handling all the frigates, right? They're not going to be getting a colony ship over here too soon. Right? What's that? Oh, that's just a ship thing. But I don't think they have a colony ship, yes. Uh, no, they do not. They do not have a colony ship yet. At least that I know of. Um, in here either. Research complete. Okay, let's just zoom in a bit so we can get it. Apparently. Um, yeah, I don't think they have a uh, colony ship there yet. Meanwhile, I'm already here at Mars on my way there. This actually is really realistic looking. It does look a lot like Mars for the preset game. That does look a lot like Earth for the preset game. No. This isn't even close to Venus. Definitely not Mercury. And, yeah, that's the moon. That looks good. Mars. Phobos. The fact that Deimos is the same size as Phobos, not right. Deimos is the smaller one, you idiot. Sarah is the good one. Sarah looks good. Jupiter's right. If only Saturn had rings, then it would be good. Jupiter has very minor rings, if you don't know. They're very hard to see, but they are definitely there. Um, and then Uranus. We don't have a preset for a Uranus-type planet, which is sideways freaking sideways and it rolls from top to bottom I guess you could say uh, let's put a bet on him um, so like top to bottom so instead of rotating counterclockwise or clockwise or whatever they rotate they are rotating the other way around if that makes any sense Research give credits complete. you want me to give you 2,000 credits There you go. You're welcome. But yeah, it's sideways, and the rings on it are also sideways. Research complete. Yeah, so the payment eventually goes away when you get a specific upgrade. So I'm just gonna pay a crap ton. Ah, yes, guarded. He's gonna do that. But you can actually take out the uh, pi the pirate bases if you want. There's a pirate base there, and there's a pirate base there. So if you wanted to, you could actually just tear them apart. Um, but yeah, they're there, so they can just warp to there, and they're there, so they can just go home. Research. And if the pirates have a bounty on someone else, that's who they're attacking. You can see that's how they're that's who they're attacking now. They're going to attack him. Um, Research. Uh, they'll actually start taking the money. But the more you put, the more you put on there, the more they're gonna send. So they're gonna go severely against this guy. <laughs> now they're attacking. They're gonna attack any second now. And you'll see at the top there, it'll say something like, Pirate Raiders launched. 
And this is flashing, meaning it's gonna go. There's a bunch of ships, right? There's a handful, and they're being obliterated by the few ships they have there. This is gonna be a severe launch. Research. So it's gonna appear here at the threats area. It's gonna say pirate raiders launched, and it's also gonna say pirate raiders launched up here, I think. And so they won't. My sh my of course my uh, the thing you will say there's an enemies coming in because they'll probably come from here as well, but they'll be just fine. Ah, frick! They colonized it before I did. Dang it! I will just take you in this thing. Get your butts over here in this thing. Enemy vessel detected. Pirate raiders launched. And um, that's gonna be fun for these few dudes. Research complete. He's uh the. It's gonna target like Pluto and stuff, because that's the closest ones to the pirate base. So it's a severe attack because I spent so much freaking money on it. These guys are gonna get bombarded by the freaking pirates before we even get there. You go do your colonizing thing. I don't have tier two. I don't have that yet. Increase power to engines. Research complete. Come on, research tier three already. Dodecahedron! I like the dodecahedrons, they're cute. Cute little ships. Yeah, the Borg aren't gonna have the nicest of times. Um, and there's still a bounty, so there's still gonna be a severe attack against them afterwards. Research. Um, if this amount of bounty keeps up, so... We're kicking these guys' butts. But um, now I can start, hopefully soon, just start pummeling out a fleet and start attacking these guys. Um, okay. That's what I was waiting for, for them. Get the really good ones. Okay, anyways, uh, giant dreadnought ship of death, um, Excalibur, Research. crap ton of those, a handful of them, Enemy and enemies. you are gonna make two of them, lots of them, lots of them, handfuls of them, and a good amount of Research. them. And you are gonna make some defiance because they're, even though they're really expensive, make, it so. uh, make one of them. Make a handful of curry classes because curry classes are overpowered. Have a lot of tiny ships, and this can't actually make those types of ships. But now we have the USS Enterprise and the Defiance are here. Sweet. Still can't level you up because you don't have that one unlocked yet. By. Um, so that's getting its upgrades. All sections report. Uh, I'm gonna make a crap ton of curry classes because the curry classes are really overpowered. And then we're gonna do a full on siege of Pluto in a minute here. Um, because, well, I sent the pirates after them already, so that's probably wiped out any external planets they've got. Uh, yeah, they're still really wanted by the pirates. The pirates are gonna cleanse these guys before we even get to them. It's really funny how that actually works. We're gonna just kill them before we even kill them. It's actually weird. Oh, they took it over again. Do we have, uh, no, we not, haven't even begun on the research yet. All right. Well, let's go take that over. Prep all systems. Bring us about. Oh crap! A red interceptor. Who's gonna turn around and run away? Who we're now gonna chase? With our Bork fleet, our small Bork fleet, and our tiny, tiny, tiny Federation group of ships. Get em! Charge! Oh frick! There's a Bork Queen class there. Eh, well, purple, you're helping, right? 
Guys? Guys? No, they're not actually gonna work and help, are they? Give the word. Okay, run away. Steady as she goes. Prep all systems. Increase power to engines. Alert the crew. Research complete. Anyways, we're gradually getting more and more powerful ships. Uh, that one and that one and that one and that one. And then all three. Sections report. Call in our battle group. And Captain Benjamin Sisko of the USS Detroit. Ability is still disabled. New vessels have arrived. There's an enemy scout cube. Oh god, is this scout cube rivalry? Okay, no. Where the heck is the scout cube? All crews stand ready. I have no idea what's going on with that, but okay. The game glitches out a little bit every once in a while. That's how, that's just how things work. Okay, they own Neptune now, and that's not a good thing. Ah, uh, frick. And they're attacking us. <laughs> oh, what idiots are they to attack us? But we have an ally trapezoid class and a pyramid and a dodecahedron. We have a dodecahedron, huh? You have two dodecahedrons. How do you expect to win against two dodecahedrons? Dodecahedrons are overpowered. Oh, frick, they're lasering our planet. My ships. Go obliterate that. Yeah, take them out. Death. It's really helpful when you have an allied Borg. <laughs> but it's story, alright? They're rebels, so they're not the most trustworthy, but they've taken up arms with us because we have a common enemy. The Borg. Council people. Because the rebels are really, actually nice people. They're actually nice people who understand how people work. You go explore, and you go explore. Okay, so it's not a severe attack, but it's an elevated attack. But it will obviously go down and be gone. Um, okay, we're very... We're doing actually pretty well. I mean... Oh! Oh, my allies are jumping there. I'm not gonna help because I have, like, no forces. But I will make more. I can trust you with that. I will let you know that that is what's happening. I'm sending in curry classes to assist. But I don't have really any other ships other than that. I'll send these guys as well. Because these have planet bombers. We're joining you guys. It will just be a little while to get there. We're coming coming to but we just don't have them all right there yet and I'm also building up a massive fleet of death over here on the other side of the planet I didn't actually know this existed for quite some time like before I only thought it was like these guys all along here all these ones were all that there was in the game um, until I realized oh cool let's uh, let's look at what the wormhole leads to and it works all the way to the other side didn't actually see that until I zoomed way out. All hands to battle station. Status report. Carbon mine reflector. Doop. Uh, and we're just building up a massive fleet of ships to attack with. Where's the rest of the ships? Oh, they're all here. Standing by. These freedom classes look so cute. Freedom classes all are so cute. Report. I love them. 
Look at that. Got the one thing. That's a pretty cute and simple ship. I wish I could actually make them, but they're not Standing makeable. All crews stand ready. Uh. Oh yeah, I forgot that's how the Klingons uh, take over. They planet bomb by terrifying all the citizens into killing themselves, I guess. And destroying the planet. But we're not able to bombard it because they have the uh, Unicomplex there. Which only has one ship attacking it. I'm going to send my two ships after it as well. I think we're winning, but I don't know if we're winning. I like how you can actually see those explosions from way out. So you can tell when a Borg has been killed. Okay, got a massive fleet there. They're just gonna wait on stuff to happen. Um, you have the battle group ready again. You've leveled up. Get that one. You're all good. You guys are gonna go in and attack as well. We've called in even more ships. Um, then you can just, uh, the easier way to make sure that we have them all. We just go, there we go. And then that's all the 20 from all these guys that we've got. Because this is also a ship that's making things and we can get some too. Uh, and all the curry classes. Wait, that's all the curry classes. I didn't even know that. Okay, all of you guys, go there and help. Alright, so we're doing okay. I think I'm... I, I got a good feeling I'll win. Um... And you gotta, to make sure that the enemies actually get attacked by the pirates, is you actually gotta, like, actually bombard them relatively hard with, uh, money. Nearer to the end. The enemy AI isn't, uh, spending any money because they're trying to keep their, uh, bases alive. Because I give, uh, all the allies a crap ton of, uh, like, money and stuff. And so we can just spend all that, but the uh, enemy has none, so... And then there's also the black market where you can buy and sell dilithium. But, uh... Research complete. Give the word. Standing by. There we go. Awaiting orders. Put some money on him. Alright, now we're arriving here. Squadron reported, Captain. Squadron. Squadrons, go get that. Squadron. Go get that. Okay, we're continuing to bomb them. Obelisks are bombing. But we can't actually, you know, take down the planet without taking down the giant freaking. The giant frickin' base, keeping them, allowing them to have it. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're attacking the com unit complex too. I don't know if the board actually have, like, squadrons. Or what. I should probably check that out. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys, planet bomb. You guys, yeah, you should automatically be attacking that. I just want the uh, Norway classes, who are my planet bombers, to be planet bombing. You don't have a planet bombing attack, do you? No. Although I'm just gonna planet bomb with these guys, my Norway classes, because they got a planet bombing uh, thing. Um, even though it doesn't say they do, they do. They can bomb. They just fire their torpedoes and stuff. I mean, I bet you could probably bomb as well. No. Fire when ready. Alert the crew. 
And only certain ships can bomb. So, yeah, that's a thing. Give the word. Research complete. You got a wedge. Awaiting orders. Go. Oh, yeah, we're gonna definitely take these guys down. With all the planet bombing ships that we have. Give the word. Research complete. Sorry about me yawning so much. I'm just really tired. I was up really late last night, so I didn't have the most amount of sleep. Give the word. And then I was woken up really early. Warp signatures detected. Oh frick! Don't attack me. Are you attacking me? You better not be attacking me. Oh my god, you're an idiot. You're attacking me. You. Freaking idiot. Self destruct sequence initiated. I have a crap ton of stuff. You're gonna try and destroy me? You serious? Did you destroy a thing? What did you do? You didn't destroy anything, did you? No, you just blew up a ship or something. Hey, well, you're gonna regret ever actually coming here. Are they warping away now? Or are they coming now? Are they coming in more? Are they running away? The they appear to be half running away, half attacking me. With our massive fleet. Red alert. Enemy vessels engaged. Yeah, well, we have a massive amount of ships. Amount of uh, tiny ships targeting you. Give the word. Research complete. Everyone target the slowpoke who's never actually going to make it. Moving to intercept. Screw you, you stoop. Prepare to get bombed by like a bajillion ships. Standing by. It doesn't matter if you have shields. Your shields are going to be taken down anyways. Oh frick, no! Not purple! <laughs> Super clicky mesh! Warp signatures. Ha! That's only a small handful of them. We almost half wiped out your shields with that. And be prepared for much, much more of that. Here it comes, here it comes. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, this guy's pretty dead. <laughs> Just with all the tiny ships I have bombing him. Give the word. And with all the allied Klingon ships firing on it. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. This'll teach you a lesson, you dumb, dumb pirates. Don't attack me next time, pirates. Just, just, just don't. Just don't next time. Oh, you're now attacking my ally. It's a freaking freighter. Okay, you're gonna die in a minute. Yep, you're dead. That'll teach you a lesson. Two of you over there. Awaiting orders. And then I want another large group of you over there. And then like a handful of you there. And a little bit of you over there. Moving to intercept. Squadron reported, Captain. Just rather than being clumped all in one spot. You'll be sort of spread out and ready to attack. Please, sir. attack us. Um a bit. Uh, oh, and by the way, I'll be starting up a new-ish series sort of thing. 
It's gonna be, um, I'm thinking of calling it something like The Creates, where I just make something in a game. For example, KSP or Minecraft or something like that. And then I would show it off in a video, show it, and I would, um... I don't know how I would be able to get it to you guys. If there's any way you can... Like, I probably might... I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so I'll have that, and... Yeah. I would say that, uh, yeah, so I'll do that. Um, not exactly sure. Uh, not exactly sure how everything else is gonna sort of... I don't know how it's gonna work exactly. But, um, I'd say that... Uh, it, hopefully it'll work. It'll just be a series where I make something, right? And then I'll show you guys what it is. And I'll give you even a tutorial on it, on how to build it. So if you have KSP and you want to build it, you can just follow it step by step by step. And then hopefully you should have it. Research complete. But I might not do that, just depends. Alright, immediate death to the Unicomplex. Yeah, the Norway class is auto is gonna automatically bomb. No, attack that. Bomb it to crap. Effects has already sound effects in the game. I just sound like an idiot. Status report. Research complete. Research complete. Okay, I somehow managed to glitch the game into giving me five of them. Armed and ready. All sections report. Kill okay, that. Oh, we got a board cube and everything. We've gotten everything. Hey, go. you go attack Target. that. Resistance is not futile when we have a frickin' Borg on our side! <laughs> Engines to full. Awaiting orders. Research complete. Armed and ready. Awaiting orders. I have, like, infinite money, so I don't have to worry about this. Engines to full. Standing by. 30,000 credits if you attack- if you help us attack the red. 30,000 credits. With that much, you could probably buy an entire new f small fleet of saber glasses Engines if you wanted. Full. Off of the Federation. Engines to full. Or hell, if you really wanted, you could just buy the resources off the black market to build your own. Do 
you're getting new population when there's zero population. Like, I don't understand how that works. There's freaking one person. Now there's no people. Now how do they get a new person? It's not like they can assimilate a new person if there's literally nobody on the planet. Do, 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 do. We're about to take out their capital. But uh, even though it's going to say you win when I get that, when we destroy the capital, I'm going to continue to attack Sharon and Nyx and Hydra and Kerberos. Kerberos. It sounds like a cur Kerbal space program of a planet or something. I don't know. Yay, we destroyed them and now they don't own that anymore. So now we just gotta obliterate the rest of their planets. Hey. You guys, attack the central nexus. You. Do the same thing. I mean, we don't even have to really do much, but... I mean, you guys don't even have to do anything. This is all me. You have no input on what happens. What the hell are you guys doing? Learn to fly, idiots. Gonna bring in my super massive planet. Or planetary death. Be ready for anything. All sections report. All right, so we're getting somewhere, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, we're winning. So that one's their capital ships, and these are their uh, tiny, their other smaller ships, and those are other things, and other things. And oh my God, we just blew something giant up. And, oh, I run out of ships. I've died. Don't know what attacked me. Oh, they're full of other ships they have left. Which can't fend them. Fend us off, but they can try, I guess. Research? Yeah, we're freaking everything. We have our everything against you. Awaiting orders. I mean, they're trying. They're trying desperately, but they can't actually do anything anymore. Really. Ship at full readiness. And I'm just calling in battle group after battle group after battle group. Engines to full. All hands to battle stations. We're still doing research. Still doing research. Um, stuff in here. Still doing research, and we've almost beaten the game. We've already won. Ooh, it's the achievement I got. He's no good to being dead. Spend 66,000 credit credits increasing the bounties on other players in a single game. <laughs> so close. Destroy a world. Destroy 20 planets in a single game. Dang. I am not even close to that. Oh, well, now we own Pluto. And they have barely anything left. They only have the Central Nexus. That's the only way they can get ships Enemy back. Vessels. Other than things over here, which we're already marching on to. I'm just going to start assembling my massive fleet of death over at the, uh... Begin a sensor scan. Over here. Alter course. Be ready for anything. Research complete. Yes. No, don't stand by. Go over there. Research complete. Ship at full readiness. Ship at full readiness. Okay, that should be Engine about everyone. Ship at full readiness. Okay, 
you know what? Guys, get into a formation. You too. You, you don't need to. Oh my god. Go away. Go away. They are targeting me because I'm supplying them with so many credits and they're like, okay, let's just attack them. They have a smart freaking AI. Jeez. Alright, well, they're dead now. Okay. Stop attacking me. Yeah, he immediately died as soon as he warped in. It's actually, I think I've seen like one or two. I've seen this once or twice before. Um, it, where an enemy, I was just about to kill him, right? And a torpedo hits him, right? He has like 10 hole left, right? Torpedo or laser hits him, right? Just as he jumps away. And so he jumps away and I'm like, ah, dang it, I didn't get him. But then I have, uh, like, eyes on the other planet, because I got allies, right? And so he jumps to an allied planet, and I just see him warping in, and then just immediately exploding and dead, because he died Engine as he fall. jumped away, and that's just what happened then. Because an enemy, because the enemy pirate was jumping away just as he got hit the last time, and he died on this one, because that's the way, because, and that glitched the game. It's actually pretty funny to watch. Um, watch that happen. Research complete. Okay, massive fleet is still not complete. Are you still making capital ships? Okay, no, you're not. Engine and I just Warp got speed. flung over there for some freaking reason. Just wanted to check that all my ships had the thing. Okay. All of the ships there have their thing, and these are just other ships. None of which can actually have tinier ships. You word. guys can. There's some of you in here who can as well. Ah, uh, you on spent ability point. Okay, where the crap is my dreadnought? What is taking so long for the dreadnought? Oh yeah, because I researched the dreadnought last. Um. All right. Well, let's just send these guys in. We'll send these guys in to go and no valid warp route to target. Oh yeah, I forgot. You guys go through that. Then once you've gone through that, then you'll understand that there's a warp route to the target. And then they all disappear through the wormhole. And after they've done that, then they can warp over here, because they now have a warp route to the target. They just didn't realize that there was a way through the wormhole. But now that they've gone through once, they now know how to do that. Every time. Okay, so there's not much to do other than just attack. After that's done, then that's this video done, and then I can go and do other things, I guess. I'll, um, I'll Make it so. get a drink and probably a snack, and then after that, then I'll come here and I'll start building some stuff for my stuff. For my next KSP series that I'm going to be making. Okay, massive fleet of death is here. We already have a massive fleet of death just wiping out everything here already. Um, so all my ships are probably going to be warping about two planets ahead. They'll probably all be warping to Kerberos because we'll already have taken Hydra and Nyx. Jeez. 
just encompassing the entire thing. Only 11 people can live on the asteroid. <laughs> and it's now their capital because they have to move their capital every time they uh, lose a planet. So once this one goes down, their next capital will be freaking Hydra. Resource nodes are dead. There's an assembler, which is the ability ships. And then there's a, cu a handful of ships trying to come in to attack. But they immediately, once they're locked onto, they're immediately dead. And... Dead. And... Dead. And... Oh, frick, he's a unit complex assembler. Everyone's already jumping to the next one, and I haven't even got my fleet over there yet. All sections report. Don't even have all the ships I'm sending over there yet. Over there. Still have a large amount of them here. It's a mini fleet that I got there. Here's here's my here's a sub fleet. Here's another sub fleet. Here's another uh here's another sub fleet. It, these guys, then another subfleet, 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 all of these guys, then another subfleet, all of these guys, then another subfleet, half of these guys, and then the other subfleets, half them, then a subfleet being this dude and the dreadnought. All of them working up together to make the massive super ultra death fleet, which I don't actually need because we are already getting the super ultra death fleet. Okay, is that everyone? Research complete. I'm gonna say that's everyone, and I'm gonna get them all to go here. They've already planet bombed all of this down to the point where the enemies are automatically putting this to their capital. So now we're gonna attack, attack their capital, even though we already own their capital. And now we see that amount of. Blue, the amount of blue dots just rise to the most it can have. I tend to get lag around six times when there's a lot of ships, but four times it can handle barely, and you have to be zoomed out. Oh, all of my allies are already there, and we haven't even gotten there yet. Wait for me! Thank you. We're here. Dum dum da dum dum da dum da. I can handle two times speed at slight lag, but I'm gonna keep it nice and slow. I can't go any lower than that, but nice and slow, nice and normal speed. Dun dun da dun 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 death dun dun death 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 to the whole freaking planet. Friendly culture will soon overflow this planet, and we're obliterating its health. Victory! Yay! Hooray! I won! Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this, and let's have a look at these uh, thingies. So, credits. Ah! Green actually had the most credits. Green actually had the most credits. Oh, credit in-game rate. Credits available. I had the most credits available at the end. Credits gained from planet income? Ooh, purple. Credits gained from trade ships? Also purple. Credits gained from selling to the black market? Not me or green, because we didn't need that. Credits gained from selling to other players? I got a little bit. Credits gained from other sources? Lots. Pl credits lost under development? Nope. Credits spent on bounty? <laughs> And red was slightly up there. Credits spent on the black market. I spent none. Credits spent on ships. I spent the most. Credits spent on structures. Ooh, green. Credits spent on planets. Almost none. Credits spent on research. I spent the most. Credits spent on capital ship levels. No. Because, uh, no. Credits lost to other sources. No one lost anything from other sources. Credits received from allies. He got crap ton later on in the game because I gave him a crap ton of things. So it went from... 
zero 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 two thousand zero zero two thousand and just went two thousand losses away. Credits given to allies and went zero 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 two thousand. Uh, and then Tritanium, I had the most income rate. Uh, oh, did I have the most available? I had the most available. Oh, that's a really pretty uh, thing there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And then I'm going to... Perfect. I'm going to then edit it down to be that, just that little square there. Tritanium available. Uh, so income rate, I had the most. Available, I had almost the most. Gain from asteroids, I didn't. Refinery ships, I got the most. Black market, no. Other sources, I got other sources. Sold on the black market, I didn't sell any. Sold to other players, spent on ships, I got the most. Spent on structures, not quite. Planets, no. Research, yes. Starbase upgrades, no. Other sources, no. Received from allies and given to allies, there's none. Fleet, let's just see what fleet. Max ship slots. No, use ship slots. I I didn't, actually. Frigates. I had the most frigates. Uh, squads. I had the most squads. Strike craft. Yeah. Capital ships. Highest capital ship level. I didn't. I only had a highest capital ship level of three. Capital ship experience. No. Uh, zero the whole game through. Capital level ships. Capital ship levels purchased. Capital ships. I had the most capital ships. Dreadnoughts. No one actually got dreadnoughts out. Uh, star structures. Star bases, mines, a bunch of little things. Planets. Planets owned. I had the less, least. Planets colonized. I had the least. I didn't colonize any. Planets liberated. Uh, purple ended up liberating two, and so did yellow, green. I only ended up liberating one. Uh, planets explored. Planet population. I had the most. I had the most population for a little while. Planet upgrades for population, civilian, tactical, blah blah blah. Combat. Star bases destroyed. Squads destroyed. Strike craft destroyed. Frigates destroyed. Capital. Sh Actually, wait. All right, let's go through this slowly. Uh, yep. Yeah, that. I did relatively okay. No, nope, didn't destroy any. Uh, I didn't destroy any strike craft either. I destroyed a handful of frigates. Uh, like two capital ships, one capital ship. No dreadnoughts. Uh, I didn't actually do any structures. I didn't actually get any other structures. Mines. I didn't get any mines. Pirates. I did a handful of pirates. Damage done to shield. If we look at the very end game, I did almost no damage to shield because there weren't lots of guys to do damage to shield with. For Borg have no shield. Hull. That's the Borg, and the Borg don't do as much damage to hull because we don't have as much hull. Planet da damage done planet bombing. Damage taken shield. Damage taken hull. Damage taken planet bombing. Empire, we can see a bunch of things. All of these different things. Anyways, let's go to the main menu. Uh, actually, wait, bounty on head. <laughs> Fluctuated a lot. So we got. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Yeah, and there was a handful of times where purple actually had a little bit. Quest received and completed. Marauding pirate ty target. Quest failed. User actions. 2,807. That's a lot. Anyways. Let's keep going. Let's get that. That's that bit done. We're waiting for the menu to load. Then I'll do the outro -y bit. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!